In a stunning turn of events following Selection Sunday, where the Big East Conference found itself dismayed by the omission of several of its formidable teams from the NCAA tournament, the narrative has swiftly shifted. Despite the initial disappointment of receiving only three bids, the Big East has emerged as an indomitable force in the tournament, leaving pundits and fans alike in awe of its prowess on the court. Defending national champions UConn, alongside Marquette and Creighton, have spearheaded the Big East's charge into the Sweet 16, securing victories and silencing doubters along the way. This weekend's triumphs, culminating in UConn's commanding win over Northwestern, have underscored the conference's resilience and talent. What was initially perceived as a setback for the Big East, with its lowest number of bids since 1993, has now become a testament to its depth and competitiveness. Big East Commissioner Val Ackerman, speaking from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, expressed pride in the remaining teams, declaring the conference is one of the premier basketball powerhouses in the nation. Meanwhile, the Atlantic Coast Conference ACC, has also made its mark on the tournament, with four teams advancing to the Sweet 16, including perennial contenders Duke and North Carolina. The ACC's resurgence comes after a season of ups and downs, reaffirming its status as a formidable basketball conference. However, amidst the celebrations and successes, questions linger regarding the selection process and criteria used by the NCAA Tournament Committee. Ackerman hinted at a potential re-evaluation of the net ranking metric, emphasizing the need for a better understanding of the factors at play. UConn coach Dan Hurley and others have voiced concerns about the perceived discrepancies in conference strengths and scheduling tactics, particularly pointing fingers at the Big 12 and Mountain West conferences. Their accusations have ignited discussions about the fairness and transparency of the selection process. As the tournament progresses, the Big East's dominance serves as a rallying cry for conference pride and solidarity. With each victory, they are proving that their inclusion in the tournament was not just warranted but essential, reaffirming their status as a force to be reckoned with on the national stage.